good people welcome back to freedom with frida in case you're new here hi my name is frida Nkuku, and this is the best place for you so subscribe and join the family so i'm not in my house i'm in my sister's place and guess what she's literally just taking care of me like she's just like chick you're not earning you don't have money so first she made my nails which really look really good i love 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 how they look and literally i've become just her daughter too like she just the way she's taking care of Ashley she's just taking care of me so thank you Maureen <laughs> anyway guys let's talk about um let to set my camera let's talk about how I survived after I got sacked I did a video of me losing my job like literally getting fired and I got questions from you guys so after that because the story ended of me getting another job so then after that how did you transition to now not having a job and resigning and all that and it's like why not do a video guys of just talking about how i finally got into this other job and finally just quit like resigned so the previous story if you've not watched it i'm gonna leave it on the description box below so you can watch that i left at i got sacked found a way to sell me tumbas and get money and um, did an interview and went through course for another bank and i was like ah you're coming in to work with us so i had to move now from kisumu to nakuru which is where i was posted so let's start there so i moved to nakuru it was i remember it was in september if i'm not wrong i was supposed to report to work in october first so like moved got a house moved my stuff settled down and i was yeah i've got a new job so one thing I knew is um, I really didn't want to work there for long because there's no difference in banking sector. It doesn't matter what you're doing. At the end of it all, it's a space where there are rules and guidelines, which is not what really I wanted to do. So somehow, as much as I was now an enterprise banker and not a salesperson, it was still the same kind of routine. It was still the same environment. It was still the same rules and guidelines. I mean, that is not what I really wanted. And having worked on the other bank for that long, I was like, mm, not my thing. You know, it's just not my thing. And I was not being productive. I don't want to be on a space where someone is paying me and I'm not being productive. So I moved to Nakuru and two months down the line, one month I was supposed to report and one month down the line, nothing. I'm not invited yet. Another month down the line, nothing. So apparently there was a mix up of names. So there was another Frida and then there was me. Now the other Frida had a husband, she was married. So my CV was mixed up and pinned together with all of other documents from the other Frida. So they would call me and they're like, we can't see your husband's GID, we can't see your word. And I'm like, no, I don't have a husband. So with all that mix up, guys reported to work and I was still hanging somewhere. So literally, so literally, so literally I was employed, but jobless. Like, yeah, I'm supposed to be working, but I'm not working yet. So for six freaking months, they were still sorting my issues, guys. So supposed to report to work in October, I reported to work in 2016, February. That is almost six months. So for six months, I was jobless and having a job and having a house, moved to Nakuru. I have a house that I'm paying rent. And for some reason, when you're in that space where you already have a job and you're supposed to report, so you're waiting, some of your mind doesn't really think much. So I was just stuck there. For like two months, I was just watching and watching. And that's the time actually I watched season by the name 24 which has like 24 season 24 episodes in every season if you've watched that series you know how huge it is so i watched whole kind of movies and i became an addict literally because that's all i did just what waiting to report to work but then i was like hey frida you need to do something so i was like okay if i continue like this i'll not be able to pay my rent so i started looking for karaoke i knew i could sing because when i was in kisumu some once in a while i would just sing and get paid for it and i was like why not continue to sing some more you know host karaoke and because i love to have karaoke and just get paid and earn some money that is gonna keep you moving you know do your shopping make your hair uh pay your rent those kind of things because karaoke is one thing that can be really very good and can also frustrate you because you get paid weekly so if you have like three karaoke that's money that comes every single um day like the days you're working every week and it's cash money 
but also you could be working today and next week you, you don't have any karaoke so it's tricky but also can make good money for you if you're good at it so i started to look for karaoke and i would get once in a while like um you find now i have i have a karaoke that i'm hosting and that really pushed me through and of course friends and family coming through to help me pay my rent for those six months and the other thing is i was like frida you have to think and you have to act so that's the time i realized that i've moved to a, from a bank i'm still going to another bank what's the difference so if you want to make a difference in your life you are a, you have to change something you don't have to do the same through the same thing you did and expect different results so i knew i don't want to be in this banking sector for long actually i gave myself one year i was like i'm gonna get there and for one year i'm going to resign and leave and just do my things and so i was like then you need to do something you love to do that is music that is creative world so it's like there's a time for me to literally just register my company the six months that i'm jobless learn how to go about it because i knew nothing and start to do something about it. let people know what you do and i remember now in feb i by feb i already registered my company i think i got my certificate my company certificate in feb or march around there by now i joined the other bank in um in the other bank job that i was now invited for and so i started to work but when i was working i was still building this baby of mine like i would still walk into schools and ask guys for what it is that I can do, talent shows and talks. And I was really very passionate about it. And I remember that was when I did my first ever, ever event in a high school. That was Nakuru Girls High School. It was a girls school. And I did a talk on, was it career? Something about career. And then an afternoon of talent show. And it was amazing, guys. The turnout was great. So what made me happy is that I was able to touch people's life, especially those younger. Interacting with people in high school, guys, it, and in college, somehow is different from interacting with these grown-ups because you know they you have you've gone through that life. You already know what it is. So you're talking from an experienced kind of life, and you're talking to someone who is like, ah, you seem you've gone through this. How was it? So literally, you're talking out of experience, and that really helps a lot. So it was really exciting to mingle with them, the girls, and talk, and get to just help them find their purpose, know their talents, and, and all that. And I was really, really excited. And above all that, guys, I made money. Like, I was like, so you can actually free to do what you love to do, build something around that, touch someone's life, be purposeful in life, and still make money. That was the big the biggest breakthrough for me I was like then this is gonna work i think it was just god who kept me for the six months unemployed so i could just search within myself what it is that i wanted to do specifically and go for it the good thing is that I'm, i think i'm a go-getter i believe i'm a go-getter if i want something i really will go for it and i will hustle to just go get it and i put my passion as much as i was working in the bank and doing karaoke sometimes at night so i'd work during the day at night some days i'm working i'll still walk into these schools and market myself and tell them what i'm doing and who i am and what i love to do and i'm grateful that someone believed in me and called me in and that's how join math events come in so i registered the company as join math events you can check my website it's dormant though i don't know the last time i actually went there because somehow i transitioned my company i'm now building join my world academy to separate it from this other side of of the story actually it's talking that's why i'm peeping anyway so there's joy mark events and joy mark world academy so transitioning that somehow i was i was like i take a break kidogo frida from the website so you don't changanya people so joy mark events is more of the product side the service of events the service of decor sound those things okay music then joy mark world academy is the coaching and the mentorship and all those other things that now come, which is not self-employment, guys, there's a difference. The self-employment is entrepreneurship. That thing I need to really tackle about it, but yeah. So with that, my, my, my website is still there. You can check that out, but it's so mixed up. So I'm not transitioning to this other side. So join my Qualde Academy. 
um, now started last year, like really separating the two. It's still Joy Mark separating the two. I'll explain one day why the word Joy Mark. It's very dear to me. Anyway, so I worked in the banking sector and I kept doing my events. And I knew I wasn't really that productive because I knew I wanted to exit. So I given myself specifically one year. So in March, beginning of March 2017, actually Feb, end of Feb 2017, I quit my job. So it was exactly one year. I quit my job and I was like, I'm done. Let me do go do my karaoke and build this baby of mine step by step because building a business is the hardest thing, guys. People, when you see people are doing really good in business, guys, just appreciate them because it takes patience. It takes a lot of uh, failures and a lot of frustrations, a lot of getting broke. So if you're transitioning to that part of the se that sector of life, business, self-employment, be ready to be broke. But the good thing is, actually me, I'm going to be broke. And as much as people may not really understand you, it's your journey. You don't need to have anybody understanding why you're doing that. And also you need to be patient enough to know that it's going to take time, a lot of it. And it needs a lot of resilience. It needs a lot of um, God in it, a lot of prayer, a lot of commitment and a lot of self-discipline and if you're a quitter uh, trust me you're not going to go through it the right way you're still gonna quit because you gotta fail i've done events and i've failed i've booked for an event and only to just be cancelled on the last day like the day i'm supposed to do it so it's not an easy space and you deal with people you deal with all kind of people you know so it's not really an easy space to be in, but it's totally worth it. Give yourself time in case you're transitioning. Give yourself time to give yourself years, actually. Don't say at I'm giving myself one year. No, it's now three years for me, and I can't say I'm there. I am still baby stepping, guys. I'm still baby stepping. But seeing yourself grow, even just mentally, and seeing yourself get to that position where you're like, I was this, and now I can see a change. It's something to celebrate, you know. So now I transitioned to join Mac fully. Um, got out of work and I transitioned to me being Frida and being on the content while creating content creating and events management and um, getting in to talk to these young girls and boys, which is something I'm really passionate about. Really, really passionate about. And I've really changed in terms of how i think and this one thing i've realized you start something you probably one idea with days in transitions into more ideas better ideas better ways of doing things like how i started is totally different from how i do it right now okay so i found ways to to maneuver through them in case you have a different schools that prefer something that you not thought about it, it comes onto your mind and now you work through that so it's been a journey which i am enjoying and which I think, let me just say, eight years from now, when I'll be turning 10 years old, it's something I'll look back and not regret. I have never regretted leaving my job, never ever. I think because it's something I really did not enjoy, but I really appreciate and I really acknowledge people who actually work in the banking sector. If it's your passion, go for it. If it's your passion, go for it. If it's a work you love and enjoy, do it with all your heart but i still feel like if you're working for someone and you don't love it you better quit just don't be unproductive because i think that's what i was and it's not a good space to be in and being in this employment world i don't want to have someone working for me and they're struggling through it because they don't enjoy what they're doing because they don't love what they're doing they're like i'm just doing it for the money it, they won't be productive and it's going to be a roller coaster of you chasing chasing them every single day which is something i wouldn't want for my employees anyway uh i hope this company baby of mine grows every single day i'm very hopeful i'm a go-getter so definitely one day maybe one day you'll hear about it anyway that is my story um maybe i'll tell you why in my next video why join mark because when i say join mark people think it's because they join your name and then mark is your husband or your boyfriend i don't know why people the reason out that way but that's not the case but maybe i'll talk about that name how i came up with the name and what it means to me okay thank you so much guys for coming through for me thank you for watching my videos stay positive stay focused always be quite of yourself and see you on the next one bye